Coco Chanel. The name evokes images of timeless elegance, of Parisian chic, of a revolutionary spirit that redefined femininity. But behind the iconic double C logo and the enduring allure of Chanel No. 5 lies a lesser known story, the story of the Wertheimer family. For almost a century, this discreet dynasty has stood as the silent guardian of the Chanel empire. How did this family, virtually unknown outside the rarefied world of haute couture, come to hold the keys to one of the world's most recognized luxury brands? Their partnership, born out of a shared vision and shrewd business acumen, transformed a small fashion house into a global empire. From the devastation of World War II to the cutthroat world of modern luxury, the Wertheimers have steered Chanel with a steady hand. This is the story of their legacy, a legacy woven into the very fabric of Chanel. Before we delve into the Wertheimer's profound impact, we must first understand the woman who laid the foundation for this iconic brand. Gabrielle Bonheur Coco Chanel was a visionary, a rebel who dared to challenge the conventions of her time. Born into poverty in 1883, she rose above her humble beginnings to become one of the most influential fashion designers of the 20th century. Chanel's journey was marked by audacity, creativity, and an unwavering belief in her own vision. Orphaned at a young age, she spent her formative years in a convent orphanage where she learned the art of sewing. Chanel's designs were revolutionary, rejecting the corseted silhouettes of the Belle Epoque in favor of a more relaxed, comfortable elegance. Her creations liberated women from the constraints of tradition, offering them a new vision of modern femininity. She introduced the concept of sportswear for women, popularized the little black dress, and transformed jersey into a symbol of chic sophistication. Chanel's creations weren't merely garments, they were statements of independence. By the early 1920s, Coco Chanel was a rising star in the Parisian fashion scene. Her designs were the epitome of chic, her salon a hub for the city's creative elite. But Chanel's ambition extended far beyond the realm of couture. She envisioned a world where her creations encompassed every aspect of a woman's world, including the evocative power of fragrance. This vision led her to a fateful encounter with the Wertheimer brothers, Pierre and Paul, scions of a wealthy family with a stake in the burgeoning perfume industry. The Wertheimers, already established players in the world of business, owned Bourgeois, a renowned cosmetics company. Their expertise, coupled with their access to capital, made them the ideal partners for Chanel's ambitious venture into the world of fragrance. In 1924, Chanel and the Wertheimers formalized their partnership, creating Parfum Chanel. Chanel would lend her name and creative vision, while the Wertheimers would provide the financial backing and handle production, marketing, and distribution. The creation of Chanel No. 5 was a pivotal moment in the history of both fragrance and the Chanel brand. Chanel's brief to Ernest Beau, the perfumer tasked with creating her signature scent, was characteristically bold. She desired a perfume unlike any other, a fragrance that embodied the essence of modern womanhood. Beau rose to the challenge, presenting Chanel with a selection of samples, from which she chose the fifth. Chanel No. 5 was revolutionary a radical departure from the single-note floral fragrances that dominated the market at the time. The Wertheimer's business acumen proved instrumental in transforming Chanel No. 5 into a global phenomenon. They understood the power of branding and marketing, recognizing that the success of Chanel No. 5 lay not just in the scent itself, but in the image it projected. Their strategic marketing campaigns, featuring iconic imagery and endorsements from celebrities like Marilyn Monroe, cemented Chanel No. 5's status as the world's most famous and coveted perfume. The result was a scent that was both alluring and avant-garde. The success of Chanel No. 5 provided a solid financial foundation for the expansion of the Chanel brand. Throughout the 1920s and 1930s, Chanel's fashion empire flourished. She introduced her iconic tweed suits, her signature quilted handbags, and a range of jewelry and accessories that epitomized understated elegance. Chanel's designs became synonymous with effortless chic, a timeless style that transcended fleeting trends. While Chanel focused on the creative direction of the brand, the Wertheimers worked diligently behind the scenes, managing the business with their characteristic shrewdness. They expanded the company's manufacturing capabilities, established distribution networks across Europe and the United States, and cultivated relationships with key retailers and influencers. The Wertheimers' understanding of the luxury market, coupled with their commitment to quality and craftsmanship, proved crucial in establishing Chanel as a global luxury powerhouse. However, the partnership between Chanel and the Wertheimers wasn't without its complexities. Chanel, a fiercely independent spirit, 
chafed at times under the constraints of the business arrangement. The outbreak of World War II cast a long shadow over the world, and the fashion industry was not immune to its devastating effects. In 1939, as the conflict escalated, Chanel made the difficult decision to close her fashion house, keeping only her perfume and accessory boutiques open. She retreated to Switzerland, seeking refuge from the turmoil engulfing Europe. The war years were a time of great upheaval for the Wertheimers as well. As a Jewish family, they faced persecution under the Nazi regime. They were forced to flee France, leaving their business interests behind. The Wertheimers managed to escape to the United States, where they continued to oversee their business operations from afar. During the war, Chanel attempted to leverage her connections to powerful figures within the Nazi regime to regain full control of her company. This move, driven by a combination of ambition and opportunism, would have lasting consequences for Chanel's legacy. The Wertheimers, upon learning of Chanel's actions, were understandably devastated. They had considered Chanel not just a business partner, but a friend, and her betrayal cut deep. However, the Wertheimers were not easily deterred. They had legally secured their ownership of Parfum Chanel before fleeing France, and they were determined to reclaim what was rightfully theirs. After the war, they returned to France and successfully regained control of their company. Chanel, her reputation tarnished by her wartime conduct, found herself increasingly ostracized from the fashion world. The Wertheimers, now firmly at the helm of Parfum Chanel, faced the daunting task of rebuilding the company in the aftermath of war. In 1954, they reached an agreement with the aging designer offering her a lucrative contract to return to Paris and revive her couture house. Chanel's return to the fashion world in 1954 at the age of 71 was nothing short of triumphant. Her comeback collection, initially met with skepticism, soon captivated a new generation of women. Chanel's designs, while rooted in her classic aesthetic, had evolved to reflect the changing times. Her suits were still impeccably tailored, but they now possessed a more relaxed, youthful silhouette. Chanel's second act cemented her status as a true fashion icon. The Wertheimers continued to expand the Chanel empire, introducing new fragrances, expanding into new markets, and cultivating the brand's image of exclusivity and luxury. The partnership between Chanel and the Wertheimers, though born out of conflict, proved to be a winning formula. Together, they navigated the ever-changing landscape of the fashion industry. Coco Chanel passed away in 1971, leaving behind a legacy as enduring as her iconic designs. The Chanel empire passed to Alain and Gerard Wertheimer, grandsons of Pierre Wertheimer. Alain, the elder brother, became chairman, bringing a deep understanding of the luxury market. Under his leadership, Chanel expanded into watches, fine jewelry, and skincare. In 1983, Alain appointed Karl Lagerfeld as head designer, marking a new era of bold creativity. Under Lagerfeld's creative direction, Chanel's runway shows became legendary spectacles, transforming the Grand Palais in Paris into an immersive world of Chanel fantasy. Lagerfeld's designs were often whimsical, yet always elegant, reinterpreting Chanel's classic tweed suits, quilted handbags, and camellia motifs in unexpected ways. He introduced a rock and roll edge to the brand, incorporating leather, denim, and edgy accessories into his collections. Alain Wertheimer's business acumen, combined with Lagerfeld's creative genius, proved to be a winning formula. Together, they steered Chanel through the turbulent waters of the late 20th and early 21st centuries. They understood that true luxury transcended trends, that it was about investing in timeless pieces crafted from the finest materials. The Wertheimer's commitment to preserving Chanel's legacy extended beyond the realm of fashion. They established the Foundation Chanel, a philanthropic organization dedicated to supporting projects that empower women and girls around the world. Today, Chanel stands as a testament to the enduring power of vision, creativity, and strategic leadership. The Wertheimer family, the silent guardians of the Chanel empire for almost a century, have played a pivotal role in shaping the brand's destiny. Their unwavering commitment to quality, their deep understanding of the luxury market, and their ability to adapt to changing times have ensured that Chanel remains one of the most coveted and influential fashion houses in the world. The story of Chanel is a story of resilience, of reinvention, and of the enduring power of a legacy. From Coco Chanel's revolutionary designs to Karl Lagerfeld's whimsical reinterpretations, the brand has constantly evolved while remaining true to its core values. The Wertheimers, with their quiet leadership and unwavering dedication to preserving Chanel's heritage, have ensured that the brand continues to captivate and inspire generations of women around the world. As we look to the future of Chanel, 
One thing is certain, the brand's legacy of elegance, innovation, and enduring style is secure. The Wertheimer family, the stewards of this remarkable legacy, will undoubtedly continue to guide Chanel toward new horizons.